But when I listened to the music that he was playing, all the patterns, melodic patterns and rhythmic ideas that he was presenting, uh, it was obvious to me that he was thinking of me. That in his mind, he was like, this is Sakir, and I want him to know that I know who Sakir is. Hey, brother. But sound better than me. Everybody knows that I moved from Tunisia to Vienna, like the end of uh, 80s, and um, I was like looking for something special. I met uh, Jatin Datakur, an Indian friend of mine, tabla player from uh, Mandi, north of India, and uh, he brought me really to, to discover uh, the Indian music. So uh, I was playing my music with him everywhere, in garden, at home, uh, listening to uh, Ali Akbar Khan, Al Racha. We talked about uh, Al Racha and Zaki Hussain that they were like one year before I came there. They played in Secession and that I listened to the record and I was like, oh, what is this kind of music? All meters are a time signature, uh, which are like, uh, instead of having like a rhythm of 4-4, four, 2-4, four, four, having like 13-8, it's like, feel like this is much more sexy for me. It's much more like uh, life in it than 4-4. Four, four. Of course, I love when it's like, I love that. It's like also, you know, I grew up with this, but if it's like, it's like complicated, it sounds like complicated, but it's not actually, it's just, it's like groovy. Um, I love old meters because it gives me the possibility to compose differently. You know, people are used to compose on 4-4 for like almost like hundreds of years. Now I feel like it's time really to think like groove is not just that. Groove is something else also. Groove is what, uh, how we work uh, in life. This is really important for me to reflect this in my music, not just in life. I think it's very important to play with a musician like you feel like uh, you can uh, uh, share with them uh, a lot of things. Being with musician on the road is like it's a part of the music. And then of course for the for the musicality. I don't see them as uh, they are coming from north or south or from west or east. I see that uh, those people are my family so from the first moment if it's possible. I'm not playing with a, a regular uh, musician, and and he's not just playing tabla. He's uh, he's singing on the tabla. He has his own voice, and uh, for me, uh, I don't see uh, Zakir as a tabla player. I see him above that. For me, like 
I don't even see him as a percussion player. I see him as a singer, as a, some, some a vo a voice, a character, something special uh, above uh, the instrument. is one of the more instruments I, when I went out from Tunisia, even before, it was like uh, the first thing I, I, I did in Vienna was meeting a tabla player. A tabla is uh, very important in my music anyway. Playing with uh, with person personality. For me, uh, playing with uh, Indian tabla player, his name is Zakir Hussain, is uh, in fact is playing with a, a person who who inspired me. Uh, the same with uh, with uh, Husnu and uh, Ivan. I feel like this is these are a part of my family. These are people who are, when I look to them, I feel like this is a reflection of uh, like a mirror. I feel like when I play with Zakir or sit with him or talk with him or the same with, uh, with Husnu and also Ivin, I feel like uh, uh, I'm talking to myself. Ivin, of course, this is the, the musician, uh, one of them with whom I'm playing like uh, almost for 20 years now. It's like uh, uh, a friend, a brother. Uh, but also it's like every time we play together there is another level. Always like we, de we develop ourselves together in uh, many senses, in many directions. Husnu is a musician who inspired me a lot. Husnu is a musician who when I write music for him, I feel like he he can bring the music as I, I wish, or even somewhere that uh, that nobody else can bring uh, the music uh, there. First of all, let's go back and say, we're talking about traditional instruments, and we're talking about traditional music. I play Indian music, and Dafer plays Arabic, and, uh, or Tunisian, and uh, uh, Husnu is from Turkey. It's a different kind of mindset. We are connecting socially, we are connecting creatively, we are connecting with uh, you know, our, our traditions behind us, our temperaments, everything, all coming together. So, in that sense, when you look at the music we are playing, it is exactly that we are not playing music we are in 
many ways just conversing with each other. We are talking and we are interacting with each, each other on many levels as friends, as brothers, as human beings, as musicians, as creative artists, as instrumentalists, everything. Also make, I think for your solo steady maybe. I'm not sure. Maybe I can try it under my tabla solo, which is towards the, that last section. Yeah. For me, I think when I played with Zakir and Husu was like every, all of us, like tra a traditional musician, everybody in his own uh, culture. Uh, I wanted really to go out from this because I don't I don't want to play uh, with Zakir and Husnu uh, Indian music and and uh, Turkish uh, music or or Tunisian music. This is not my my willing or my, my the goal of of doing this record. But in the end, it was like also when I play with musicians, I give them the possibility to be themselves, and that was really hard for me also to to keep. Uh, the record how I wish. Even I composed everything. You know, the improvisation will be like they go where they, the origins are. Now, why Ivan came? Came to make this balance. You know, for me, it's like working with Ivan is like giving a chance that all of us has the possibility to not think like uh, uh, traditionally, but much more like open-minded. After birth requiem, I, I needed to to go more in this direction. Like it's a continuity of of of, the, of that uh, album. I believe that uh, there is uh, something uh, connect all of us. I consider them as a family. I consider that uh, I have a big family, and all the time I have to discover who is the next member of this family. The words I have to say. May well be simple, but they're true. When I was first listening to the music that Tafar was presenting, I was, music was for me the second thing. The first thing was Tafar as a person, as a human being. Can I be in the same place with Tafar? Can I be his friend? Can I be his brother? Can he be my brother? Can we sit together uh, and talk about life? How about this? <laughs> When I listened to the music that he was playing, all the patterns, melodic patterns and rhythmic ideas that he was presenting, uh, it was obvious to me that he was thinking of me, that in his mind, he was like, this is Zakir, and I want him to know that I know who Zakir is. And, and so it was not uh, at all difficult for me to say, yeah, sure, because just from the very first meeting, it was very clear that we could be friends, that we could be brothers making music together. 